Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out a management tycoon game called Deadwater Saloon. That's right. Have you ever wanted to run your own your very own Wild West tycoon? Well, today might just be the opportunity that you need. Right, let's get our character set up here. As ever, I've gone through the tutorial. I, uh, I know what the heck is happening. Uh, let's rename the town Potatoville. Sure, and let's have uh, the wild, the wild tatty. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so first things first, we need to get our we need to get our character set up. Um, there's a couple of different sort of stats that we can um, that we can deploy. Uh, calm, captivating, leadership, whatever. Anyway, uh, we also have a whole bunch of ability points to deploy if we need to. Uh, or I say if we need to, if we want to. And uh, I really do. I really do. You know what? Let's just get everything sort of leveled up. Let's not really... Let's not really be overly picky about it. We'll leave everything on normal. Sure, let's uh, let's let's go for it, and we will jump into the game. Uh, so this is a management sort of tycoon game where you have to build your own salon, you have to run it, and you have to do all of the different little things uh, that go into you know building building a saloon. Um, this is it. This is it. I'm going to use the word uh, salon and saloon undoubtedly interchangeably in this uh, in this in this video, even though they are completely different. Uh, this is it. This is what we have got. This is our dear old orbital potato who's standing and chilling uh, right in the center of uh, right in the center of uh, the saloon at the moment, and that is grand. Now, the interesting thing about this game, and we're going to pause whilst we talk about it, is that we actually build up. A town uh, around the saloon in the center here. So we're obviously going to get the saloon kitted out, and that's going to be that's going to be fine and dandy. We've got 800 bucks to do so at the moment. Uh, but as you can see, a trapper, Leon Davis, has just opened or is in the process of building up uh, a trapper next door. Now, funnily enough, we can actually purchase his business if we want to. Uh, we can't. It's too much money, but you know. There's this whole sort of like wider ecosystem uh, that is outside the that is outside the saloon. Anyway, uh, yes, I've done the tutorial. I know what I'm doing. This game is a little bit, uh, I guess, sort of esoteric and complex. So you're going to have to bear with me for a couple of the mechanics. But let's let's explore this together. Anyway, uh, first things first. What have we got going on up in the top left hand corner? Well, we've got our character stats, right? So this is our character health, our character stress, our number of action points available on any given day. And then we've also got the opinion of the town of us. So town opinion of character. We've got 800 bucks in our pocket. Uh, we've got this amount of money. I need to keep this on pause. Uh, we've got takings for the day. So we've lost $6 today. That's fine. Uh, we've got a capacity of 23 customers and we have... 200 storage places available uh, at this moment in time. I'm just going to tweak the music ever so slightly. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Um, yeah, so we can get ourselves we can get ourselves our saloon uh, up and running, which is probably not necessarily a bad thing to do. However, uh, there's a couple of hints up at the top of the screen here. Uh, missing one or more requirements to serve drinks. Okay, we will try and get that up and running. Uh, similarly with food, we've got nothing being researched at the moment. A new business has been built. Yep, that is the trapper. We know about that one. And then we've also got a new house which has been built, which is the Davis family. And that is Leon Davis right here. So as you can see, the houses will build themselves in this area. That's fine. And, you know, other, other people will open up their own businesses, which I think is really rather cool. Uh, now... Down in the bottom left-hand corner here, uh, we have got our overall our overall saloon stats. So we've got 62 out of 62 points. Um, we've got zero points of fame, five points of refinement, 20 of entertainment, 20 of service, drinks, food, muscle, etc. Anyway, uh, we're going to try and upgrade all of these individual components of our saloon over the course of this episode, and hopefully, uh, we're going to turn our we're going to turn our little thing into a, a bustling little a bustling little community. Uh, so there's a couple of things that we can do, and you can actually see um, not on the structure tab, but on the utility tab, for example, if we're to build a mahogany bar, it's going to give us five refinement, and it's also going to give us. You know, plus 200 storage. Uh, so that's a great, that's a great idea. Why don't we get that set up? I tell you what, let's get, let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a bar over there. I feel like that's not necessarily too bad. And we'll also get ourselves a bar back right over there. In fact, maybe we want to ever so slightly just sort of squeeze this. 
Yeah, squeeze this back. Yeah, right there. That's good enough. That's good enough. We just need to try and keep as many squares open as possible so as to ensure that we're able to get as many customers as possible. That's the sort of vibe. Uh, right, so we got the bar. That's fine. We can get ourselves a stove. Um, and this is important for, obviously, preparing stuff. So we're going to do that. Um, we can also extend We can extend the building, but, uh, but I don't think we're going to do that quite yet. Unless, I mean... Do we maybe want to get ourselves 20 bucks? I mean, you know what? I kind of feel like maybe a kitchen wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world. Uh, it would probably be quite valuable to get ourselves, you know, just like a backroom shelf right in there. Yep, that sounds fine. Maybe we throw in a doorway over here. Uh, we'll probably change the wallpaper so that it looks less horrific and a little bit more sort of disguised. But that's fine. Anyway, we got a backroom shelf in there. We'll get ourselves a cast iron stove. What are the sacks for? The sacks literally just give us extra storage. The workbench give us daily upkeep. Plus 10 salute. Plus 10 sal saloon. Gosh darn it. Uh, saloon food rating. Minus 50% chance of theft from staff members. Okay. That's fine. Let's get ourselves a cast iron stove or a wood stove i mean it literally doesn't matter at all get ourselves a wood stove plonk that down in there beautiful that's looking wonderful uh also this game is not in pause mode uh i need to stick into pause mode whilst we're building uh right uh the safe do we want to get ourselves a safe why not let's put it right next to the cooker that sounds like a great thing to do very very safe is that all of it from the utility utility section i feel like we got more than enough storage 650 units is going to be is going to be enough for now we'll get ourselves a piano um and a piano is required our piano is required for entertainment rating and uh that is exactly what we want to do we want to entertain our guests to the best of our ability and we're going to make sure that everything is set up accordingly. Now, we'll also get a dartboard. Dangerous game. Putting it next to the uh, the piano player. Uh, we can do some dirty stuff as well. Oh, goodness gracious me. Well, we'll get to that maybe a little bit later on. I'm going to try and keep... Framed picture. Sure. Um, I'm going to try and keep this area free for stairs. Because we can get ourselves some stairs. Get ourselves a hat hanger. A little bit of extra refinement goes a long way, doesn't it? I don't know if it does, but I feel like it does. Decorative sign? Sure. Why not, eh? Why not? Okay, we've still got plenty of cash. We've uh, we've splashed a little bit of a little bit of cheddar, but that's not too bad. Uh, right. We can get ourselves a spittoon, some tables, etc. I think I want to get myself some tables. Let's get some tables. Let's do that. couple of tables. Yeah, that's fine. 16 customers. I feel like that's enough customers for now. We'll get ourselves some... What do I need? Some chairs? I kind of like these chairs best, to be honest. Right. Now, the way that you rotate objects in this game is a little funky. You have to manually rotate them all the way around, but that's fine. Okay. That's looking pretty good. The only thing that I'm also going to do, and the only reason that I'm going to do this, is because uh, during the night, it gets very, very, very dark. I'm going to make sure that I get those two lights. And everywhere we sort of go, uh, we're going to try and place, we're going to try and place as many lights as possible. Okay, so I feel like as, hey, you know, that's not actually too bad. I feel like as saloons go, that ain't, that ain't too bad. Oh my goodness, there's a, well... A shepherd? A, a shepherd that is driving some pigs through town. I knew I was I was hearing a whole bunch of oinking noises. Anyway, this is our saloon. This is looking pretty good. Let's um let's sort of talk about the issues that we have up at the top. Drinks can't be served, and also food cannot be served. Right, let's go and check out the research tech tree. Now, the interesting thing about the research tech tree is that as more businesses build up and get established in town, uh, we're gonna get access to more and more recipes. So, for example, uh, the trapper in the trapper. We can buy two types of uh, two types of stuffs. We can buy crude liquor, which is the only type of liquor we can actually sell at the moment. We're gonna buy it, and we can also buy game. 
I'm going to buy it too. Now, note that we've used up two of our action points, so we can actually only use up, um, well, one more action point for the rest of today, but that's fine. Anyway, this is what we can make with all of the game. We've got 200 game points uh, in here. And our chef, when we hire them, we'll get to the staff members in just a second, uh, we'll be able to turn that game into dill pickles, or into celery, or into pemmican, or into roast jack rabbit, or all of this sort of nonsense. And the same sort of with booze. I mean, we take crude liquor, uh, and we literally turn that into rot gut. It's just that simple. Now, the reason that we want to get up the research tree is because each and every sort of step does take longer to do. It's going to take us 10 hours to do this. Abstraction, attribute, reduction, timing. Okay, so I guess depending on depending on our skill level, um, it's going to take less or more time to, to do this research. That's fine. Uh, it's going to take us 10 hours to do this. That's going to sell for 10 cents. Now, if we get Panther Piss, which is a beautiful name, uh, it's going to sell for 40 cents, but it's the same crude liquor. Literally, literally just that simple. Uh, so that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to get dill pickles and we're going to get rot gut, hopefully, uh, by the time that the morning rolls around. Now, we've got space for 20 people, uh, but we've got nobody nobody doing anything, actually, in the uh, in the saloon at the moment. So that is fine. Right, let's sort of go into two times speed. No reason not to. More and more businesses will open up. Uh, so we just kind of have to wait for that to happen, and we just kind of have to roll with the punches. This is the Wild West, and things happen. Things happen that are out with my control. Uh, crazy stuff ends up happening. Mark my words. This is a this is a crazy place to be. Anyway, it's 3 a.m. There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, there's a little town interface here. Houses required in order to, to level up the town. That'll happen pretty quickly. Um, or we, should I say, we'll get a second house pretty quickly here, and then we'll get more businesses, and it'll all sort of just go from here. Right. So, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. That is looking good. We've got ourselves some brand new action points. Uh, there is some people. And the interesting thing to note is you can actually click on everyone. Now, most people that are just riding through town, you can't interact with. Uh, but there are a number of people, obviously, who live at the house. Uh, Myrtle Davis, presumably, wife of, yeah, wife of Leon, who owns the, uh, who owns the trapper. Are you coming in for a drink, Myrtle? Hopefully, Leon, Leon kind of likes me, I presume, because I bought some, uh, bought some stuff from him. Uh, so there we go. Ain't no bartender to serve me. Okay, well, you know what? That was a little bit unfortunate because I was going to wait for somebody to come into the bar before hiring a bartender. But I guess we need to we need to sort of uh, do that the other way around. We basically we basically need to try and get a barkeep, a cook, and somebody to play the piano. It's pretty much just that simple. Um, yeah, so we can hire people in town. Um, <laughs> I presume. <laughs> I presume. These are the daughters of the Davises. That seems a bit weird. <laughs> Don't like that. Um, Samer Cook, who is a barkeep. That that isn't half confusing, is it? Um, sure, we'll hire you. We'll hire you to do the piano, and we'll hire somebody to actually do the cooking. Brilliant. And then we'll manage. Yep, everyone is everyone is sorted. And there we go. Suddenly we've got ourselves a nice little setup. Now it's going to take a little bit of time before we get uh, before we get everyone in here. But that's fine. Are you? Is that Leon? That is indeed Leon. Oh, you're walking in. Well, hopefully you're not going to get turned away. First, get me some rot gut. Then I'll stop asking again. Beautiful. I think you got yourself. Yeah, you got yourself some rot gut. I don't know how. I guess. I think I just stand here, by the way. I, I literally don't think I move, but that's okay. Um, he's drinking rock get away, which is great. Uh, obviously, this negative 100 and, uh, this $143 sort of nonsense is a little bit, yeah, a little bit disingenuous because we, we spent a whole bunch on staff hires and whatnot. And our staff have come through in one sort of big gaggle. There we go. Look at that. What do you know? What do you know? We're, we're doing good. Okay, uh, also we need to make sure that we continue to research. Let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves some dill pickle research on the go. See what the heck, uh, see what the heck happens. We've got a proper bartender now, Mr. Cook, who doesn't do any of the cooking. That's looking, that's looking pretty great. Anyway, it's 1 a.m. Um, we've got staff wages obviously to account for now. That's fine. I think we can just about tolerate a little bit of staff wages. Uh, piano, hopefully the piano stuff is gonna go well, um, you're continuing to buy Rotgut all the way through the night, Leon. 
Um, now, here's the other thing that we can sort of bear in mind. If I click on Leon, we can actually we can actually do a whole bunch of stuff with him. Uh, we can actually rob him. Uh, we can duel him if we've got a claim. Uh, we don't have a weapon, actually. We can we can murder him. We can investigate him. We can sue him if there is a courthouse available, uh, which there's not. We can blackmail him if we have dirt on him. Uh, we can frame him. A whole bunch of stuff. We can befriend. Why don't we try befriending him? I mean, he's got a nine opinion of me. I mean, we can romance him. We can propose to him. Why don't we try befriending him? Challenge them to a friendly game of poker? Sure. Okay. Uh, we tried to befriend him. It failed. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. Right. Well, we're not going to be able to interact with him for a little while. That's that's a bit unfortunate. Compatibility and marriage. 90%. <laughs> 90%. Uh, okay, well, maybe. Yeah, we can give it a try, eh? Right, um, yeah, we still literally do not have the option to serve any food. We literally do now because the research is done. Okay, let's get, um, let's get the next level of booze on the go. This is okay, this is okay. Just get me some rot gut. Uh, Myrtle Davis. Okay, I think that, I think that you are the wife of, I think that you are the wife of, uh, of the other dude. Yeah. Uh, offer them a rapacious meal? Broach on legal ways to cut corners and get ahead financially. You know what? I tell you what, my, my small talk really needs, uh, really needs to improve. Okay, I'm gonna stop befriending people before, before people start to get, uh, irritated with me. Uh, we're also gonna, like, end up destroying our opinion of the town. Like, the town is gonna end up hating me. You pass by Leon Davis and they walk on pretending not to notice you. Uh, attempt to grab their attention with your presence. Try to crack a joke to win him over. You say, your hat takes the egg. Oh, God. Okay, right. Leon, your <laughs> My relationship with Leon is going down south very, very quickly. And bear in mind that he is literally the only person in town. Well, him, his wife, and his two daughters who have applied to become prostitutes at my saloon are the only people that are actually going <laughs> to... <laughs> gonna buy my booze. I mean, <laughs> not exactly a great vibe, is it? Oh, uh, this is actually worth noting. I say that they're the only people to, to buy my booze. Uh, we got Myrtle in here, obviously, who's a, who's a regular. Mantha Joseph and Rule James. Excellent. Well, um, these are two traveling people, I believe, who are just passing through, which means that I can't actually uh, interact with them in the same way that I can interact with townspeople. I don't think that that's necessarily too much of a problem. Not the end of the world. Uh, far from it, in fact. That is, that is A-OK. -okay. Right, three out of three action points available. I feel like maybe I should be using... I feel like I maybe should be using a few more different types of action points. Uh, or, you know, like trying to rob people, trying to do stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not overly that. I'm not, I'm not overly bothered, to be honest. Let's get ourselves some pemmican. Excellent. Just keep on, keep on with the research. Keep on with the research, because the more that we're able to get, the merrier that I will be. Uh, if we come close to needing all of our chairs, by the way, then I will immediately see if we can try and uh, get some more, get some more stuff. Get some more stuff into play. Also, it might be worth us splashing a little bit of extra cash on the refinement of the place. That bird actually scared the bejesus out of me for a second there. And there's clearly some sheepies that are passing by. That is fine. Okay, we've got 172 units of crude liquor, and we've got a 192 units of game. Are you friendly with me? Uh, you're kind of friendly with me, but of course, that doesn't really matter. Guess I'm gonna head back east to gamble. Ooh, okay. Um, if you're not interested in coming into my establishment because you cannot gamble, let's have a gambling table then. Why not? There we go. Beautiful. Okay. We can still deal with 18 customers. That seems like a, that seems like enough. Leon, I mean, I literally built a table, Leon, just so that you could gamble. I mean, we need to, we need to, we need to get, we need to get friendly. We need to get friendly. 90% compatibility. Share a tonic. <laughs> okay, we weren't able to befriend him, but we were able to romance him. Nice, with a 20% success chance. Okay, well, uh, that's a little awkward. A little, a little awkward, but that's cool. Uh, awkward because he's married, I would hasten to add. Um, 
but that's okay. Also, the pianist is not sitting on the, the piano stool. That's a weird little thing there. That's not necessarily the end of the world. Okay. Um, yeah, can we have a little look at... What am I looking for? Uh, citizens, yep. Uh, Leon, yeah, we are... It's still minus 11. That's still negative. Okay. Right. Okay, uh, let's look at getting some more... Getting some more booze options, I suppose. 37 hours. What's that? Like a day and a half? Kind of? Yeah, probably about a day and a half before we're able to get that. Also, is our cook just standing around doing absolutely nothing in there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Pretty sure he is. Um, we can also... We can get um, coping mechanisms to lower stress. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. Well, we don't have any stress to speak of anyway. Um, character commits suicide, by the way, if you uh, reach 100 stress. Eh, so that's fun. Right, what do we got going on? A rancid heat wave is causing a disturbance to local townspeople sleeping, causing many to carry out their days in a trace-like stance. Um, make drinks for them to keep them hydrated at night. I really should have just let the I should have just let it slide honestly I should have just let it slide why am I trying to get involved in all of the in all of the town in all of the town shenanigans I mean that really seems to be a bad idea right when's this next business gonna open it's gonna be soon it's gonna be soon there's gonna be a brand new business soon come on can propose we can literally propose to Leon do we <laughs> do we, do we want to do this I feel like we kind of don't um what are the chances? 43%? <laughs> Crystal Davis, Elizabeth Davis, and Myrtle Davis. They all love me. They all love me. Okay. Uh, maybe they weren't married. Maybe it was just all of his daughters. I don't know. But apparently... Uh, well... This... <laughs> oh. The irony. The irony. That's not you. That's you're not my husband. Leon Potato. He's he's taking my second name. Oh my god. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> well, um, what about you come and buy some booze here? Uh, can I buy your business now? By the way, uh, two hundred ninety-four bucks is not a bad is not a bad deal. I mean, what's mine is yours. Uh, surely, surely, it would be, it would be good if I could get, uh, if I could get his business. That would be really, really great. I got a decent chance at this. Oh my god, really? Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Right, okay, tomorrow morning I've got a I've got an ambition. I want to see if I can try and build an upstairs. An upstairs seems to me um to be a pretty decent idea. And we can maybe get some private rooms up there, uh, if you know what I mean. So hopefully we can we can make that happen. Literally, you're just gonna stick around. You you're just gonna you're literally just gonna abandon you're gonna abandon your trapping business. And you're just gonna stay in my saloon all day mooching around. Well, that's not exactly the vibe that I that I dig, but hey ho. Right, Potatoville is looking is looking good. Town level is still low. We need to get that second house. And honestly, I'm surprised that it's not happened already. But hey ho. Right, second floor. Right, can I go? There we go. Beautiful. Now, how's this going to work? There we go. Perfect. Right. Uh, can I build? Yeah, wooden floor. Beautiful. This is exactly, this is exactly the vibe that we're going for. Okay, can't place tiles there, but that's fine. 
Okay. <laughs> this is looking <laughs> highly cursed. Highly, highly, highly cursed. Okay, anyway. Let's not worry about that. Something like that. Yeah, excellent. There might be a... No, there's not a hole in the, in the floor there. That's fine. Get a doorway in here. And then we'll see if we can try and get ourselves a little bed. That's right. Is enough space in here? Probably should be right. Really? Oh, do we need to fill in that floor tile? Okay, that was weird that it didn't show up, but that is that is a okay. Uh, bedroom shelf? No, not interested at all. We might need to get a little bit more space. Uh, okay. It's uh, weird to place. I'm, I don't know what I'm missing here. Right, okay, um, right, try the, try adding, adding this here. Delete the wall. Okay, good. And see if we can try, place the floor tiles again. There we go, okay, that's good. It seems like there's a visual sort of issue. Right, um, success, hallelujah, Potatoville and Crystal Davis likes me, brilliant. Okay. Can we get... Do we seriously not have enough, a big enough space here? That tile right in the middle there is still causing me issues, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, with that, we should be good. There we go. We got it. 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 Okay. That's great. Um, we have created... We have created an absolute monster, though. We really, really have. Right. Let's go into staff. Let's go into hire. And let's get one of you. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay. So the town likes me even more because I've hired somebody from town. That is excellent. Let's go booze and let's get ourselves, sure, let's get ourselves roast jack rabbit. Cool, okay, um, apart from the fact that the town hasn't developed at all, um, maybe because I've taken one of the eligible bachelors out of, uh, out of commission. Okay, excellent, well done. Doing a grand job, just standing around up there. Um, honestly, it would be great if you could if you'd happen to be a part-time architect and you could kind of fix the absolutely <laughs> atrocious floor situation, uh, that would be nice. I'm also losing a not insignificant amount of money each and every day. Um, but now I can offer additional services, which is kind of nice. Right, Myrtle Davis sees you and calls aloud one of the big bugs in town is here. Uh, Potatoville opinion plus five. Open a potato stress. Oh, okay. That was a positive event, apparently. Right. Well, the town thinks very, very highly of me. Um, I just need... Oh, excellent. Somebody's increased in staff level. Who's who's that? Teddy Johnson? Um, well done. Well done, my friend. Well done. The cook is, the cook is leveled up. Brilliant. Well, there we go. Um, what does that mean? Uh, absolutely no idea, I'm afraid. Absolutely no idea. I think it'll just, I think it'll just make him a better cook. Maybe he'll be able to do it quicker. Maybe he'll be able to cook quicker or cook less terribly or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, we got a lot of people standing around. I, I actually think that taking, taking Leon out of the, uh, divorce, do I want to divorce him? Addiction? Okay. Well, you know what? I'll t I'll I'll try and entice him. I'll try and entice. I'll try and entice my husband. <laughs> oh, hold on! Did we just get somebody who went upstairs? Oh yes, we did. Oh yes, we did. That's great news. 
Oh, look at this. This is the this is the real money right here. This is the real money. I don't know what to do. Just pay up. Literally just pay up. Oh my lordy. Okay. It turns out this is the this is the the secret little this is the secret little money maker that I was missing this whole darn time. I mean it's not enough to properly turn a profit yet, but it ain't it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. And that is that is real good. Still can't entice you. Yep, still can't interact with travelers. That's a little bit unfortunate. Please, I hope this session lasts forever. $1.55 every every hour? I mean, that is an absolute... That's an absolute steal. Literally daylight robbery. Literally daylight robbery. Okay. Uh, booze or wild goose or what do we want? What do we want next? Let's go... Let's go better better booze we're gonna yeah we'll research panther piss and we'll see where that takes us you find a note from your beloved atop the bar i'm lost for words and i'm de-stressed because my husband loves me so much <laughs> this is mad this is mad i didn't mean to i didn't mean to i didn't mean to do this uh i don't have the money to buy your business at the moment i'm afraid buddy but i would i would if i could Okay, a traveler feels entitled to let you know how disappointed they are with the service. Uh, make an example in front of your staff. Okay, I failed. Everybody hates me, and my fame is now negative three. But it looks positive. Who knows? Who who honestly knows? Okay, uh, you find Leon Potato outside. Uh, passed out with a half-empty bottle of whiskey. Wake him up and ask them why the hell they're outside to come in and get drunk. Yeah, now we're talking. Hey, and he likes me. Oh, I can actually move my character around. I didn't even I didn't even notice that. Well, there's literally literally no reason to, is there? Yeah, no reason to at all. Uh right, fine. Befriend? Should I befriend you? Sure. I t I can't believe it. I'm only <laughs> I literally I can only marry the guy. I can't befriend him. I can't do anything else. Man, I tell you what, it's tough. It's tough work. It's tough work running a running a saloon, isn't it? It's 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 blooming tough work. It is blooming tough work. It really, really is. And the fact that Leon Pate literally, literally is my spouse. I mean, that is just absolutely mad. That is absolutely mad. I need him to buy booze, though. I need him to buy booze. Who have we got here? A guy called Rascal Peterson here. Okay. You're having a having a little chow on whatever. I tell you what, we actually didn't lose as much money as I anticipated on that uh, on that day. So all in all, that ain't too bad at all. Leon, should we try getting divorced? Oh no, I didn't want to entice you. I didn't want to entice you, sorry. Oh, you're now an alcohol addict. <laughs> I fuck up. <laughs> okay, hold on. You're addicted to alcohol, but you're still married to me, so I don't think that you're gonna. <laughs> so I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna get with. Uh, I don't think you're gonna. You're gonna. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to drink alcohol unless I, <laughs> unless I divorce you. Right. Even though we've got ninety percent compatibility, I will divorce you. Because now that you're addicted to alcohol, you're gonna, you're gonna come to literally the only saloon in town, um, and you're gonna drink all you're gonna drink all my booze. I can't believe it. This is mad, honestly. What is this game? What is this game? Myrtle? Myrtle Day? Oh no, hold on. Myrtle Davis is going upstairs to be with no, no. Myrtle Davis is going upstairs to be with Crystal Davis. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> right, let's get divorced. Let's get divorced. Sorry, you're addicted. You're addicted to uh, You're addicted to alcohol. Everybody hates me. But you're still addicted to alcohol, right? Yeah, you're still addicted to alcohol. Beautiful. Okay. Right, Faye Young, you're you're there. That's fine. Um, Crystal Davis, yeah, you don't like me. You don't like me anymore because I divorced your father. I take it. 
or something. I, I don't know what the relationship is there, but that's that's fine. Okay. Right. Good. Uh, I'm looking forward to making a profit one of these days. One of these days we're gonna we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get there. Hear a ruckus and step outside. Good for nothing piss swamp. Okay. Well, that's fine. Claim against Myrtle Davis added. I don't need I don't need a claim against Myrtle Davis right now. What I need what I need is is more customers. Right. One or more nemesis are shit talking you. That's not good. Low town opinion. I'm not exactly in. A good place with regards to that. How's the road doing? The road is looking fine. Road doesn't need to be cleared. Excellent. The fact that no other buildings have been built here is actually kind of crazy. I guess literally probably part of the issue. <laughs> Look at this. He now wants to charge me 6,600. Uh, 6,600 dollars $6, in order to buy his business. He was going to sell it to me for 250 bucks. Can you believe that? He's alcohol addicted. He's alcohol addicted now. That's right. My ex husband. <laughs> my ex husband is in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I. To be fair, I didn't actually have to marry him to get him addicted to to alcohol. Uh, but I guess that was a bonus. Oh, hello. Are you a traveler? Or are you rascal? Yeah, you're a traveler. Unfortunately, the good news is though. The good news is, if I'm not wrong... Okay, thank you for that. Uh, you should be... Are we actually going to make money today? Depends on how drunk uh, Leon Potato gets. He's decided to... He decided to keep his... He decided to keep his last name, did he? Right. Um, saloon theft from staff member. Who who stole... Who stole me? Who stole from me? Who stole from me? That's, that's not bad. Uh, where is it? Theft. Theft is zero and zero. Yeah, that's fine. There's, to be fair, there's not actually that much to steal. There's the safe in the back, but that's fine. Right, um, somebody is, somebody is talking ill about me. That's fine. Oh, look at this! Okay, great. It's not exactly the... <laughs> not exactly a bakery, is it? Uh, an opium den. Okay. Providing the town with opium supply and a quiet place to recline. Right, they also provide knives and loans. Do business at your own risk. Well, I do like I do like loans. Peggy Miller. Opinion of you is neutral. Okay, that's fine. Right, we've got a second household up and running now. That's great. Uh households required. We need a third one. That's fine. The town the town does not think does not think does not think it does not think of me well. You're still addicted to alcohol. Yeah, you really don't like me, do you? Okay, that is that is what it is. Okay. Yeah, what was the theft? It was two dollars. Literally two dollars. Staff opinion of me is quite high. Oh no, I tell you exactly what staff who the who the staff member is that's stealing from me. It's you. It's literally you. It's it's literally you, isn't it? I mean. I don't think that I can actually improve staff opinion at the moment, I don't think. I'm not researching anything at the moment. What, what should I research? Uh, we'll do that. Sure. We got ourselves Panther Piss. That's kind of nice. Um, can we buy opium? Opium for selling at your saloon? 54 bucks? Um, we can do that. I'm gonna do it, I suppose. Plus 10 saloon muscle permanent. Absolutely, I'll do that. Um, I can't purchase this at the moment. Kind of need some more some more bucks at the moment, though. We're going to get ourselves... Oh, we can't assign ourselves a gun. That's fine. Oh, it just literally adds to the muscle of the, of the saloon. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I mean, you are just the real problem here. You, you really are the real problem. And I don't think that there is a way that we can make our staff... Can make our staff like, uh, like us anymore. Find a frail-looking traveler, barely conscious. It's clear they've been frequenting the opium den. They've overdosed by the looks of things. Um, leave them be. Clearly passed away. Potatoville opinion. Right. Okay. I Clearly everybody hates me, apparently. Can I get you addicted? Opinion is too low. 
romance. I mean, we are very, very compatible. Candy Miller. Befriend. Try befriending. Hey, look at that. What do you know? Hello, friend. And let's get you addicted. At least as soon as we possibly can. Uh, right, who's the character Who's the character that's, uh, that's talking ill of me? Because I think it is time to maybe deal with that person. Uh, it's not you. Who is it? Leon Potato. It's not Leon Potato. I, Honey Miller? Why is your opinion of me so low? I, d I really don't want to try and uh, romance. Try and investigate? Okay. Nope. That uh, that just made that just made it all worse. That's fine. Just buy more booze. Buy more booze. Literally, just buy more booze. No more action points for today. Low town opinion. I know a new house has been built. I know a new business has been built. Uh, cash theft. Um, if that stays at two dollars, to be honest, that's it's a little bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, somebody leveled up, but that, as we already discussed, uh, it does very, very little. And hopefully at 12 o'clock midnight, all of our uh, points will reset and this whole situation will quiet down a little bit. Okay. Um, we're a little bit stressed out at the moment, but that's fine. Yeah. Nothing much that I can do. I can't even fix the road to try and get the town to to chill out. Uh, we befriended you. Um, I don't really want to do anything else with that at the moment. Faye Young, you can't do anything. Peggy Evans, yep, you're just chilling right there. I think I need to take out a loan, to be honest. I think I'm going to take out a loan. Peggy Miller? Should we try befriending Peggy here? Try befriending Peggy. It actually succeeded. Wow. Okay. So Peggy runs the the uh, the opium den over here. Payable each day. I mean, this is gonna be it's gonna be a disaster, isn't it? How much would it cost to buy? Five hundred eighty bucks. I mean, that's like actually like not a bad idea. Take out a loan, and then offer to purchase them. There we go. Okay, we purchased the we purchased the opium den. Maybe we don't have to repay the loan. We do get to get opium at a slightly better rate now, which is kind of nice. Okay. That's good. Okay. Daily payments of $14. That's fine. Uh, research. Let's continue on researching. There's no more research tech tree available. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, really. Uh, we're looking for a we're looking for a building that's yeah, we're looking for a building that hopefully will allow us to... How much would this cost to buy here? We don't have enough action points. That's fine. Also, the booze is unbelievably expensive. Uh, because Leon hates me. Leon hates me. Yes, my scorned ex-husband really, really, really despises me. That is a bit unfortunate. But now we're able to offer our customers even more... Even more product, which is great. Yeah, what's happening up here? Anything? No. I mean, I you are my nemesis. My nemesis does work for me. That's a little bit unfortunate. I can just fire you. I mean, is that what I want to do? We'll have to wait until tomorrow anyway before doing that. So that's fine. How much is opium actually going for? Panther piss is selling nicely. Can't see any any opium. We've got 193 units of this stuff, so it's not bad. Uh, but I don't really think that we're in any way close to being profitable. Unfortunately, as much as I dearly wish that we would be, uh, those loan payments are not substantial, but they're not exactly nothing either, are they? Right, it's reset. We've got a prime opportunity here. Still nobody up there at the moment. Okay, let's let's have a little look here. So you really need to go. You really need to go. Unless... Unless we can try... 
attempt to romance has failed. Yeah, okay. I mean, look. That was that was always going to be an outside shot. We need to we need to get rid of you, I'm afraid. Yep, we need to get rid of you. Sorry, get out of there. And then we're going to go to staff. We're going to see if we can hire. Uh, yeah, you're unfortunately not on the market. A bouncer? I mean, that seems almost entirely unnecessary. Barkeep, barkeep. Sure, let's get... Let's get somebody from outside town. That seems, that seems like a good idea. A croupier? Is that how you say it? I presume that we need one of those people to actually run the gambling table. Uh, we don't actually have anybody that we can choose from at the moment, so I guess we won't. Come on, we need some more buildings to open up. We need some more buildings to open up. So yeah, I played through the game, I played through the game, um, like a fairly significant amount, to be fair. And, uh, I, like, really, like, no... Like, I played through it a couple of times, and uh, every single time it opened up more houses than it's opened up at the moment. So I feel like we've got a very, very small clientele. Uh, what we can do, what we can do is we can actually, we can actually say a free bar uh, is available, and we can invite a whole bunch of people in. Now, it's going to be a little bit risky because we are... Uh, because we are in a little bit of a pickle with regards to cash. Look at this guy. He's so interested in getting all the free drinks that uh, best barkeep ever. That's right. That's right. That's me. Hopefully the town is going to like me a little bit uh, after I've done this. Uh, it doesn't look like the... doesn't look like Leon is, is coming back, unfortunately. So I may have just... May have just spent a lot on nothing, but that's okay. Wild turkey, sure. Keep on, keep on progressing up here. Old-fashioned turkey. Eventually, we're gonna get the opportunity to to sell a product at a at a decent price. Yeah, still doing the open bar thing. Have had no real altercations, to be fair, since the uh, since the start. Right, we're gonna have to unfortunately purchase crude liquor at an abnormally large price. Investigate. Investigate failed. Stress is beginning to mount. It's bound to get worse. Potato's in trouble. Let's turn to our vices here. There you go. Get a little bit of a little bit of alcohol down you. I mean we can try again with Leon in a couple of hours. We'll see if we can try and blackmail him or do something. I mean we need to do something. I mean honestly, these prices are unsustainable. I mean that is absolutely crazy. I mean we we did divorce him. I get I get it. He's got a right to be annoyed, but be nice if uh, be nice if he didn't. Okay, and you're just gonna stand around. Okay, offer my dramatic talents. Hey, look at that! Orbital potato fame, potato villa opinion. Beautiful. Okay, um, we're climbing, we're climbing back up there slowly but surely. Okay. Nice, you're here for it. Red Bell, well done. Okay, the, the free bar is about to end. I hope. Anytime now? Anytime now. There we go, it's ended. But if everyone could keep drinking, please, then that would be great, because that will help me recoup my costs. That will really, really help. Look at that. Everyone is, everyone is vibing here. Everyone is vibing. And you don't even hate me that much anymore, Leon, do you? You really don't. Daily action points are exhausted. That's fine. Keep on, keep on going, keep on going. Also, let's have a little look at uh, hiring a croupier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll need to do it. We'll need to do it in the new day, but I think that should be fine. There we go. We've got somebody upstairs. Brilliant. That's looking good. It's looking excellent, in fact. Yeah, okay. So, money-wise, um, not in the best position. Uh, we're losing about 48 bucks a day. But that's okay. Croupier, let's... Uh, let's do it. Ooh. Who do I want? Who's cheaper? 
You're way cheaper, actually. Sure. Welcome on in. Okay. It'll take time, but it'll be worth it. Right, Leon, you really, really hate me, don't you? My god. I'll just murder you. Rob him. I mean... Do I really want to rob him? No. Hey, we got some dirt on him. We got some dirt on him, and um, now we're going to blackmail him. That's right. Hopefully we're able to blackmail him before he charges me the absolutely atrociously large prices for uh, for alcohol again. But I feel like there's a moral of the story here, right? The moral of the story is that you really shouldn't be upsetting the person that is supplying you alcohol in a small town. It's a very, very niche um, lesson to learn, you know. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's an important one nonetheless. Anyway, uh, down to negative $76. I actually don't think that that's as crazy bad as it as it looks. Uh, we've got our croupier, Spring Murphy. Um, so that's going to be a brand new sort of realm of things that we can we can research. Uh, research, what am I talking about? Uh, a brand new sort of raft of ways that we can get uh, new games on the table. Leon, let's see if we can try and blackmail you. We're available in two hours. We can we can do some stuff in two hours. That's fine. If I can take over your business, that'd be nice. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything meaningful in the blackmail, but at least it's worth working through all of the options that we have. Right. Blackmail. Demand money or demand sexual favors? Jeez Louise. Demand money. It failed. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's excellent. Okay, well, this guy is... This guy... <laughs> This guy is charging me so much money for my booze. Literally. Literally so much money for my booze. Okay, no more action points. We've got loan payments that are quite substantial. Uh, down 60 points today. Orbital Potato, you need to like really, really, really think about maybe just chilling out a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. Heavy spring rains flood the main road, causing unspeakable mud conditions. Traveling wagons are nearly brought to a, sand, a standstill. The road is a disastrous ruin. Aha! Right. Repair road. We can't do it. Reduce travelers. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate indeed. Right. It's, uh, it's the end of the evening anyway, so there's not much that we can really do. Right. Okay. Thank you. Potatoville opinion, Orbit of Potato stress, Myrtle Davis opinion, claim against Myrtle Davis added. Is she in here? Where's Myrtle Davis? God, I should never have divorced. I should, ne I should never have divorced. <laughs> I should never have divorced. Uh, never have divorced you. We do a duel? Let's do a duel. Threaten to sue them if they refuse to duel you? Slosh a drink in their face. Ah, oh, she laughed off a challenge. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Well, I would still like to take another pop at, uh, take another pop at Leon. Sneak up and garret them when they're least expecting it? Yep, everyone hates me. The entire family hates me. Right, the road is blocked. Our stress is very, very high. Uh, we probably need to be drink uh, be drinking a little bit. I know that I'm 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 attempting an unbelievably large amount of actions that have a very very small chance of succeeding, but we need to get this price down. I literally cannot pay. I cannot pay uh, crude liquor. I crude liquor at that price. I mean, can I sell my can I sell my opium den? I mean, that might be possible. It might be possible. I'll tell you that. We could. Negative $35? I mean, is today the day where we finally turn a profit? It could be. It could be. But alas, I mean, we need to try and we need to try and knock some of these people out. Right. How's the how's the town looking? Heavy rain damage, no incoming supplies. Yeah. Can't do anything about the road either. Gonna have to wait until the end of the day before uh, before attempting anything anything in that regard. How much was the opium going for there? I didn't I didn't see that. Tangle leg. Bad break, bad break. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, also, nobody's nobody's doing anything around the gambling table. That's a little bit unfortunate. 
Money wise though, money wise we're looking we're looking pretty gravy, baby. Definitely not terrible. And it looks like there's still somebody upstairs. Don't know who that is. But it was almost enough. It was almost enough. It was painfully close uh, to getting us to getting us to profitability. I'll take that. I'll take that. In the grand scheme of things, that ain't that ain't too bad. Uh, it's still not good enough that we uh, that we that we're not able to do anything about that. But hey ho, repair road. I mean, we can't even pay the we can't even pay the money. Twelve percent seems like yeah. Seems like a massive fail. Potatoville opinion, Peggy Miller opinion, open a potato stress is Dan. Beautiful. Right, can we try knocking you off again? Try murdering him. Try blackmailing him, maybe. Demand money. Hi, 34%. 34%. Oh, goodness gracious me. Potato, have a drink. Have a drink. Or have an eat. Do something. Do something. Man, we need to we need to blackmail somebody, honestly. We need to blackmail somebody, we need to murder somebody, we need to do something. Man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, the fact the fact that I've got people that are people that are talking smack behind my back is really, really, really unhelpful. Also, the fact that the road is in a really, really poor place is very, very bad. It would be nice if we could increase the number of action points that we have. Although I don't know if that's actually possible. Maybe that is one trait. There's definitely like a whole bunch of traits that I uh, that I should get pretty au fait with. Leadership, pretty high on. That's that's nice. Current stress level is quite high. It's quite high indeed. Teddy Johnson has increased in staff level. Excellent. That's great news. Absolutely delighted. He's going to be the best cook for Miles Around. And also the only cook for Miles Around. Unless you unless you want to cook yourself, I'm afraid you're just going to have to, going to, have to deal with it. Also, how on earth has the town not leveled up? Like, really? Road health, nine hours. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. Yeah, okay. Not a very profitable day today. Down, down the better part of $60 y dues. Yeah, this also this gambling table has been uh, an unmitigated failure. I think I genuinely do not think um, I can say that it's been a been a success on any level. Actually, it has been a hundred percent failure. But that being said, I do have quite a lovely little quite a lovely little tavern here. It's looking nice, apart from the fact that. Half the people in the town don't actually want to come and chill here. All right, heavy rain, no incoming supplies, reduced travelers. I'm going to try again. In a brilliant performance meant to invoke townspeople to rally and fix the road. Fault your knees. Another fail. Really? Well, we got plus one drama, I suppose. That's good. Oh, my God. Well, fame is... Well, fame is fame, I suppose. That didn't really feel like it worked particularly well. Yeah, I mean, Leon, you are just... You are just the biggest piece of garbage in the world, aren't you? Let's blackmail you. Demand free training time. Brilliant. Open a potato staff level. Plus one. Okay, that's good. That's good, but you still hate me, unfortunately. And uh, I st it's still going to cost me an absolute arm and a leg to refuel my uh, my liquor with you. So, I don't know if I really want that. I have an absolutely insane amount of money left to repay, by the way. Literally an insane amount. There is no chance that the road is going to get any better at this rate. I mean, literally no chance. Um, we can we can try again in like 16 hours, but, uh, but it's not going to get any better. Opium is selling for 118. That is good to note. That is good to note. That is very, very good to note. Should we try knocking off Leon again? I feel like we, we should try. I feel like we should try. I feel like that would be the real apex of, uh, you know, the real apex of my, my career here. Right, Research-wise, old-fashioned turkey. Sure, 148 hours. But we're able to sell it for a dollar, which is quite a lot of money. 20% chance. 
Thank God we did it. We did it. We actually did it. Right, that is brilliant. Bodies requiring disposal one. Um, increased staff level plus a hundred per a hundred pig farm required to dispose of bodies. Are you kidding me? Suspicion is gonna grow. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no surprise there. But everyone in the town likes me more. Can we purchase this? Since there's no owner, I can get this business for cheap. Um, but here's the thing. I need the... I need, I need what's inside the business. I need what's inside the business rather than the business itself. Now, town suspicion is going to continue to grow. My stress is going to go absolutely through the roof. I mean, like, properly through the roof. I mean, like, majorly through the roof. Um, also, there is no way that we can get... <laughs> we literally have a body that we need to get rid of. There is no way that we can... There was no way that we can get rid of it. Okay. Nod at them. Success! Success! Beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, we're getting... We're getting under control. We're getting under control. Yeah, um, 415... 415 bucks. Or 418 dollars. I mean, that's... That's... That's a lot of... It's a lot of money. Okay, can I sell this? Not enough action points to sell the uh, to sell the opiate den at the moment. Let me let me try again tomorrow. Uh, we should have like one more day of revenue potentially. You know what? I don't know. The body might be discovered. We have absolutely we have absolutely no idea. I, I mean, I have absolutely no idea. This is crazy. Truly, this is wild. Three hundred and seventy town suspicions. Truly, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> sell! I want to sell it. I want to sell it. If I can, if I can get that cash flow back, then that would be, then that would be great. Okay. Uh, wow. We didn't even make enough money. We did not even make enough money to cover our like very, very, very basic operating expenses there. That is really, really unfortunate. Man, this town was just super, super duper small, like, throughout. Honestly, the last time that I played, I feel like we had four houses. I had four houses going, and it was great. I mean, now we're about to pass on over into the new day, and we are in a bit of a bad place. Gonna sell for 52 hours. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem right there. Um, also, we still can't get rid. We still can't get rid of the bodies. Still can't get rid of the bodies. Still can't get rid of the bodies. And we still can't buy our booze. Right, you're walking down the main road. You begin to notice and wonder if everyone is suspicious of you. Act naturally. Failed. Oh my god. Another 300 points of suspicion? 666? That's a sign. It's a sign. Every Okay, I'm popular? But everyone thinks I'm sus. I'm on 88 stress. My brain is about to my brain is about to enter the the stratosphere because it's so because it's so because I'm so stressed out. I can't believe it. Where is the body hiding? Under the floorboards somewhere? I mean that's that is pretty weird. Yeah, this character avatar is completely worthless, isn't it? It really doesn't do anything at all. Right. Yeah, I mean the fact that the the fact that the trapper is killed is is actually a real problem. I mean, not having crude liquor or game on the on the table is a real issue. I have I have absolutely destroyed this lovely little community here. So I say it's a lovely little community. It's not really a lovely little community, is it? I mean, it's got it's got two businesses and one of them is an opium den. I mean, come on. Uh, so I mean, I've not exactly. I've not exactly covered myself in glory, I don't think. Uh, is that a problem? I don't really think so. Um, let's have a little look at my character. There we go. Just use up all of the uh, remaining... Use up all the remaining action points on de-stressification. I think, to be honest, I'm going to be... I'm going to be suspicioned out of here. I mean, we're now on to 740 suspicion. And uh, there is no sign that that's, that that's going to get any better. 
Attempting to repair the road. Again, another attempt. Failing to repair the road. That really, really sucks. We're working on our drama. Like, every time we fail our skills. Fail, of course. Yep. Okay. Um, right. We have 100 out of 100 stress. That is... <laughs> really not great. <laughs> really, really, really not great. Uh, so that's cool. And also, financially, we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, we really are. Not enough action points to sell. Uh, we must be close to being able to sell, though, right? But again, the town doesn't necessarily hate me. At least not all of the town does. Town is suspicious of me. Peggy Miller, you're, you're friendly. You're a friendly face. That I can't click on. Oh, we did succeed in befriending her. Oh yeah, that was the uh, the former open uh, former uh, owner of the opium den. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. That's kind of cool. That's fine. Yeah, I wish I could repair this road. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could turn back time and not divorce my husband. All I all I really wanted was for him to to buy alcohol in my establishment. I ended up getting him addicted, but for what? Who can I share this world with now? Not him. That's for sure. Uh, because I killed him. <laughs> right. They lift a drink to you. Wonderful. My stress has gone down and the town likes me. Nobody thinks that I'm that I'm suspicious. Right. We'd love to try clearing the road. That would be great. Stress level is high. Join the hunt. Uh, yeah. You miss and spook the herd running off at the distance. Peggy Miller is pissed. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Peggy. Sorry, didn't mean to. Uh, but to be fair, I did think that you were going to take me out, and I thought you were going to take me out. Uh, take me out back, and also take me out. Right. A pig farm. <gasps> a literal pig farm. Finally, brand new business, and a brand new house has come online. I mean... I would love to afford a, a, a body dumping operation. Can I sell this thing? Cannot sell for three hours? <gasps> this is our way out of here. This is our way out. We've got our way out. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Sell a business? Cannot sell for one hour. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sell business? Uh, you'd be willing to pay $10. Ten dollars? Are you kidding me? I mean, it, <laughs> at that amount of money, it is literally not worth it. It's literally not worth it. Okay, um, let's go and let's go and have a little look at the car the, the citizens. Who doesn't like me? Elizabeth Davis. Can I swap the? Yeah. Can I frame you? If I can frame you, oh my god. Uh, just just one time it would be nice. It would just one time it would be nice to frame somebody. Okay, well, I stressed out um to the max, but uh but there you go. Okay. I mean, I feel like that was kind of a bit of a cursed run. I mean, pretty much as soon as as soon as my as soon as my character was taken off the the singles market, uh, things started to go south. My one supply of alcohol and and raw food uh disappeared. <laughs> Quite literally. Uh, pig farm was literally just built. I feel like there was a very, very slow sort of development in that town. I don't think that that's necessarily, that's not necessarily, uh, the end of the world. Uh, but it definitely meant that we weren't able to make a profit, uh, for a little while longer. But definitely, 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 definitely getting the upstairs bedroom up and running. I mean, that was brilliantly effective. Um, and I will say that was very, very good. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gents, that's Deadwater Saloon. Um, this game is... An interesting one. I'm very, very, very curious to see where it goes. Um, you know, so check it out. Link to down in the description. If you're interested in helping me with videos like this possible, check out the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash over potato. And if you're not, that's cool. Uh, but for now, from me, ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.